had me at all. Cause where you go is where I go. Good morning, everyone. How are we all? Happy Monday. I've just come out of the shower. Little man's on the bed. If you can hear him. And <clears throat> I've just come out of the shower and slathered the body shop butter all over myself. I absolutely love this. Um, but I'm sad because that's all I've got left. Really need to get some more. Absolutely love this one. This is the Moroccan oil one and it leaves my skin so, so soft. Um, and my skin will be soft for like 24 hours, it's amazing. Um, I just love the Body Shop. Their products are always amazing, they all smell amazing. But I always use the Body Butter. It's my go-to. Holy Grail for dry skin. So I thought I would do a little vlog this week. I haven't uploaded a video in a, about 2-3 weeks I think it is. <clears throat> To be honest, I haven't really been motivated to do it. Um, I've been a bit stuck with content, to be honest. I got up this morning, I started watching um, Gemma Louise Miles' new vlog, and she started her vlog off with some skincare. She was showing her Elemis products, and I was like, I've got my Elemis products, and I really want to do my skincare now. So, um... That's what I've come upstairs to do. I've had a shower, so I'll do my skincare now with you. So first, I'm just going to use my Lumi Spa. Um, absolutely love this. Just makes my skin feel so so good. Whenever I feel that my skin is really dry and flaky, I always know if I go and use my Lumi Spa, my skin feels amazing afterwards. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll cleanse first. If you don't have a Lumi Spa, then what are you even doing with your life? It's just, it's just amazing. It really does transform your skin. And I just love how it makes my skin look as well. Like it just looks refreshed, plumped and glowy. And I don't even want to wear makeup because I'm just happy with how it makes my skin look. So I've used the uh, New Skin Age Lock Activating Cleanser that comes with the Lumi. Just because I think... Oh, little man, what's the matter? Just because I think it maximises the results. The Lumi and the Activating clean Cleanser just goes hand in hand. I mean, you could use a different cleanser if you wanted to, but I just don't think that it would work as well, that's all. And this is only two minutes. Two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the evening. Every day and you will see results. Well, I did anyway. Just love it. So... Now that I've used my Lumi Spa, I'm going to use some of my Elemis products because I love these products. I love how they make my skin feel, especially after using the Lumi Spa. Also use this Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This isn't just a cleanser, you can also use it as a mask. So if my skin's feeling super, super dry, I will put this on and Leave it on for about 10 minutes. Um, so now I'm just going to use the Elemis uh, Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. I really like this product. Um, I do suffer from eczema underneath my eyes and my eyelids sometimes. And I find with this mask, it doesn't get rid of my eczema obviously, but I do have eczema cream. Um, 
but this eye mask has definitely helped and now my eyes have just gone super soft underneath and I do think that this mask has helped it's getting a bit whingy now with my eyes being so sensitive it hasn't irritated it at all if anything this eye mask has helped so I've used the marine cream, the eye revive mask and I'm just gonna spritz some of this toner on to finish. I love this toner, I love spritzing this at the end, it just it just makes my skin feel so refreshed and again this smells amazing so Oh, smells gorgeous. And that is that. That is my skincare done. Um, we are going to pop to the shops today, so I might just put some mascara on afterwards and zhuzh up my eyebrows. What's the matter, darling? Are you getting a bit fed up there? I've brought his mat up from downstairs so it'll entertain him, but... Oh! You like this one, don't you? Ah. Ah. Ba, ba, ba. We're actually going to get him a new play gym mat as well. Um, where it has lots of black and white contrasting colours on it, so it'll... Stimulate little man some more. So now I've done my skincare. I think I should get dressed, sort my hair out, and I will see you in a bit. Okay, so I've got dressed, and I didn't really know what to wear because the weather has completely changed since the weekend. It was nice and sunny and warm. And now it's just grey, cloudy, and I think it started raining as well. Um, and I don't really have much clothes that fit me at the moment. Um, I feel like when the weather's like this, I wear, wear the same two leggings all the time, which are my black and my brown ribbed leggings. Just because they're really, really comfortable and... It's mainly what fits me at the moment, but I do want to wear something different, so I've just checked on some joggers and a t-shirt for now. Um, and I probably will just leave this on, actually. Um, it's comfortable, so that's all that matters. Um, so I've just put my hair in a little low bun, and I've popped a bit of cream blusher on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. And what I'm going to use now is, I picked up this um, eyelash treatment from New Skin, which is the company that does Lumi Spa. And I wanted to try this because I wanted to try and grow my lashes a bit longer and get them a bit thicker. And this is meant to be good for that and to try and separate the lashes as well um, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on it's clear and this isn't only for eyelashes it's for eyebrows as well so I'm going to put it on my brows as well just to fluff them up a little bit Like that. I don't know if you can see. I can't really do it in the camera, it's weird. Look in the mirror. <laughs> to the other side. Usually I will use the Benefit um, 24 hour brow setter, but I want to give this a go because it'll be nice to have thicker eyebrows. And this one sets it just the same as the Benefit one, so... Like 
like that and it's not sticky. And then let's put some on my lashes. So with this you need to put it on day and night to see maximum results. I've only just started using it so I can't give you a review at the moment. So put that on and I'm just going to go in with some mascara. And I'm going to finish off. I also picked this up as well from New Skin. Uh, light shine lip plumping balm so I have used this and I can tell you now it is the most hydrating balm you will ever put on your lips my my lips literally feel so soft after using this I love it and it gives a really nice shine don't know if you can see. <laughs> and it has like a little bit of a pink tint to it as well. Like that. So that's all I'm going to wear today. No foundation, no bronzer or anything like that. And just going to keep it natural. Gosh, I need to straighten these bits. I think they're a bit too fluffy and sticking out too much. So we'll sort them out. Um, going to pop to town. I'd like to go into Home Bargains. And I need to pick up some new vests and grows for Ronnie. Because he is growing way too fast. Um, and yeah, he's outgrown his 0-3 months. And he's only 2 months, so... Um, I'm not sure if that's down to him growing or the fact that they've shrunk a little bit in the tumble dryer. Who knows? But anyway, he needs new ones. Um, my mum's going to come with me. So I'm going to pick her up about one-ish. And before I go, I do want to do a little tidy up of the house. I just feel like there's clutter everywhere. What's the matter? <laughs> Hey you darling. So yeah, as you can see, I just want to tidy up the house. So I've got some washing to put away there. Um, bag needs to go upstairs. Also the kitchen. So the dishes need to be put away. And I want to just... Clean all the worktops and the cupboards with some flora. I have some dead flowers on the floor here. These flowers are actually in a pint glass because I don't have a vase. And yeah, just, yeah, I've got my Oswegos there. Obsessed with them. Um, yeah, need to get little man dressed. And just generally freshen up the house. I don't think Ronnie's going to let me do some tidying up because he just wants some cuddles. Plus we have an, about an hour until we have to go and pick my mum up so we'll see what happens. Might be able to do the cleaning when I get back if I'm not too long in town. What do you say Ronnie? Can let mummy tidy up. It's currently 10 to 1 and 
I'm going to quickly show you what I'm having for lunch before I head off to town. So I made this for me and Paul last night and there was enough left over for me to have for lunch today. So basically what it is, I mixed some pasta, some peri peri chicken slices, um, some cherry tomatoes and some mozzarella mixed mixed it all up with some pesto literally that's all it is um, and I'm just going to put some of this Himalayan salt on the top so I'm going to quickly eat that up and go and pick my mum up and head to town I um, want to try and go to Home Bargains and B&M and I might pop to Tesco as well. Here's little man fast asleep. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love a baby in a white baby grow. He's so cute. And we are home. It is 25 past five and I tell you what I'm absolutely knackered we were in town for about two and a half hours and I think we must have gone to just two or three shops and yeah I've got home and I'm just absolutely cream crackered um little man <laughs> little man's on his little play mat Happy as Larry. Say hiya. Obviously you can't say hiya, but you're happy. So we went to Home Bargains. Let me show you what we got. Um, I actually didn't get I didn't get that much to be honest, and I didn't make it to be an M either. But seeing as I went to Home Bargains, thought I'd show you what I got. So. Okay, first of all, we got these crisps, um, crispy bacon and maple syrup. These are so, so nice. You need to try them. What else have we got? Picked up some Crave. Um, Peyton really likes this cereal. So I picked up some more for him. Picked myself up a foot pack I absolutely love these they leave your feet so so soft I really really do recommend these have it for a nice pamper night um, picked up a lynx box can you see the lights too bright in here um, a lynx box this one is Collision leather and cookies. I thought I'd pick that up as an extra for Paul for Father's Day because he goes through shower gel like there's no tomorrow. So that'll come in handy for him. Uh, what else? Oh, this is what I went in for, to be honest. The main reason. So I've got this flash spray wipe. This is the Mrs. Hinch one. And it is scent wild berries. So I really can't wait to try this. This is... This is what I use on the worktops. So I wanted to try the Mrs. Hinch one. So I'm really excited for to try that. Picked up some more Fairy Non-Bio Softener. This is what we use for um, Ronnie's clothes um, along with the pods, but I didn't need any more pods, so we just picked up the conditioner. And to be honest, um, I've actually started using this on all of our clothes now anyway. Oh, have you got stories? Happy boy. Um, yeah, we just use this on all our clothes now. It smells absolutely lovely and yeah. What's the point getting a separate one for all of our clothes and then this one for Ronnie? Just use, use it for the whole lot. Uh, pick up 
picked up this um, curry sauce as well. I've tried this one before and it tastes exactly like the um, curry you get in a Chinese. This one's really, really yummy. Usually I would just fry off some chicken and add the sauce, add some peas and serve it up with some egg noodles. And yeah, it's really, really tasty. Uh, what else? thought that was the last thing. Uh, picked up these bubbles. I'm going to see my sister and my brother-in-law and nephews on the weekend. And I saw this and I thought um, my little nephew would like this. So, so it's bubbles but you can actually catch and hold them. So I thought that was interesting. Excuse the dirty nappy there. Sorry about that. Um, I need to put it in the bin. So, yeah, I thought that would keep him occupied for a little bit. And then... Oh, I actually picked up this card as well for Paul. Um, I'm going to have to tell him not to watch this if I put this up before Father's Day because he's going to see what he's got. But he... But we absolutely love watching Only Fools and Horses. And I saw this card and I thought I'd definitely have to get it for him. He likes to think he's a bit of Del Boy. And then, okay, the last thing I did pick up were these quavers. I absolutely love quavers and I saw that they did them in prawn cocktail. I've seen everyone on Instagram eating these and I've been on the hunt for them for a while. So, finally got my hands on them. So, happy days. So, that is all I got from Home Bargains, basically. It's not very interesting. Not exciting, really, but thought I'd just show you. I'm just going to close the curtains a little bit because it gets really bright in this living room when the sun comes behind the house the sun just proper shines into the living room so can't see anything. Um, yeah so I think we're just going to chill out now to be honest. Um, nothing else planned for this evening. I'm just going to chill out with Ronnie Paul will be back from work soon with Peyton and I think I'll carry on with this vlog tomorrow. I'm going to meet my friend Amy tomorrow with her little one and we're going to go for a nice little walk and have a picnic because the weather's meant to be really really nice. Um, so yeah that's my plan tomorrow and I will speak to you tomorrow. Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. As you can see I'm fresh out the shower, I've done my skincare, the sun is shining, it's going to be a beautiful day and all the happy vibes are flowing. Happy days. So it is currently half eight and I'm just going to have some breakfast. I'm thinking some, I think I'll have some porridge today, um, even though it's not porridge weather, but it's just my go-to really, quick and easy, healthy, and um, yeah, I had a bad day of eating yesterday, so I want to try and um, get back on track today, even though we're going for a picnic, but I have chosen some bits that um, that are quite healthy, so but I'll show you them bits later before we go. Um, yeah, as I mentioned yesterday, um, I'm meeting my friend Amy and her little one. We're going for a walk and a picnic. Um, yeah, so yesterday I decided to have jam on toast for breakfast, and. I don't know, just from there I think my eating went downhill. I mean my lunch was pretty healthy, um, but yeah, the rest of the day just wasn't good. So today I'm having my protein porridge and let's make it.
gonna eat up my breakfast, have my coffee. Um, Ronnie's currently on his play mat in the living room. Have a look. Good morning. Say good morning. Yeah, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, have my coffee, and then probably by that time, uh, by the time I finish my breakfast, Ronnie is probably going to want to feed as well, so I'm just going to do that, chill out, catch up on some TV, and I will see you in a bit when we go for our picnic. So I just wanted to pop on quickly because I had my H&M order back yesterday, and I just wanted to show you a little cupboard that I bought. So, let me turn you around. Shorts and top cupboard. Um, they like a knitted material, but it is quite thin so, and it's quite lightweight. So, those are the shorts and then the top to go with it is this like, it's this little t-shirt which I thought was quite nice. It's quite a nice, casual, smart look. Um, and I think I'll wear this on our walk today. And I'm just, I'll probably just pair it with some socks and trainers because our walk is a little bit, um, it's quite a long walk and it's quite gravelly so I don't want to wear sandals otherwise I probably would wear some sliders or something with this um, but I'm going to wear it with trainers today my new cream Oswego's I think that's how you say it um, but yeah I'll put this on and I'll show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like on <laughs> Can you see Ronnie? He's just on the bed there. Um, yeah, it's so, so comfortable. I've tucked the t-shirt into the shorts. Um, has some nice pockets. And I really, really like it. I really like the colour. Um, so I've got the top in a small and the shorts in a small because it said on the website that they came up quite big. But with the t-shirt, um, I think I could have done with the medium because I wanted it a bit more oversized than what it is um, but I still like it and this is qu it's quite a stretchy material and doesn't cling to you and I thought this top would be good for breastfeeding as well so it's an easy top that you can just slip down or even just pull it up and that's what I'm doing these days basically wearing shorts t-shirt or leggings and a t-shirt something easy because I find it so hard to wear outfits I've bought some nice summer dresses and then I didn't realize that if I'm out and about I won't be able to breastfeed so yeah practical as well um, I did also buy these um, white denim shorts I have tried them on they're nice and comfortable high-waisted um, and I probably wear this. I've got a nude, like, oversized t-shirt that I could wear with this. Um, tuck it into the shorts, wear with a nice pair of sandals. And yeah, another nice little outfit. This is the outfit I'm going to put Ronnie in today. A nice little cohort, like Mummy. Short, uh, shorts and t-shirt. Um, this was given as a gift. Um, but I do believe it is from Morrison's, I think. Is it Morrison's that do the nutmeg? So, yeah, I'm just going to get a little man changed and ready. And then I'll go downstairs to pack all our picnic bits up. Okay, so I'm just going to pack up all the picnic bits. So I'll show you what I'm taking. don't have a picnic basket or anything like that. This is Ronnie's little bag for his outings, but I'm just gonna use this because, well, 
Mine doesn't actually need much when it goes out. I've got like a, a portable changing mat, which holds all his nappies, his wipes, cream, everything like that. And I don't really need to take bottles because I am breastfeeding. So that's what's super, super good about breastfeeding. You just don't have to worry about bottles. You just put them on the boob. Okay, so these are the bits that I'm taking. So I picked these three up from M&S because they were three for seven pounds. So I've picked up this herb chicken kebabs, some sweet potato falafels, and some mature cheddar and onion muffins. Um, these look really, really cute. I think they're like egg based or something like that. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to try them. I've picked up some pita bread uh, from Tesco. Sorry, you can hear Ronnie. He's getting a bit aggy in the back. Um, picked up this uh, aioli dip. I love garlic. And if you love garlic, you need to try this. I love this dip so much. And then I just picked up some strawberries, um, which I need to wash and put in a box ready to take with us. Um, so those are the bits that I've picked up, but Amy's gonna pick up some bits as well. So I'll show you what she's picked up once we get there. But that's it, that's the little bits I've picked up for our picnic. Oh, also, so picked up this from Tesco. It's a white grape and elderflower drink. So that's gonna be really, really refreshing as well. So. Yeah, that is it. Hi. Hi. You okay? Yes, good. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday afternoon it's not very often we go for picnics and it was just it was just so nice the sun was shining the babies were so chilled we had lovely food M&S actually do the nicest picky bits for food just it was insane um I think I told you earlier that I would show you what Amy brought, and I, th I forgot to show you basically. Sorry, I'm just waving my ice lolly around. Um, but she picked up, she went to M&S as well and picked up some 
she bought some falafels. They were different. To, they were different to my ones. Um, she picked up these like chicken enchilada chorizo. So it's like chicken and chicken wrapped in chorizo basically, and some honey and mustard cocktail sausages. And oh my god. They were so good, honestly, you have to try them. Yes. I'm so hot, like, I've come home and the first thing I've picked up is a nice lolly to try and cool myself down. I picked these up in Tesco's yesterday. Um, I usually get the original rocket lollies, but these ones I saw um, are sour ones. And they are quite tasty, nice and refreshing, so. If you see them, pick them up and try them because they are really, really nice. Do love a nice lolly on a hot summer's day. So I'm just gonna chill out now, I think. Um, Ronnie fell asleep in the car on the way home. So he's still asleep in his car seat in the living room. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. Um, I don't really have much plans for the rest of the day um, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I really hope you enjoyed um, I've never done a two-day vlog before I mean I didn't get up to anything that was really really interesting but um, I enjoyed vlogging to be honest I don't do vlogs very often but if you did enjoy this vlog please let me know in the comments below Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, you know the drill, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Have a lovely day guys, bye!